Hey guys, what it is, it's your girl Cadillac and I am coming through on this Saturday afternoon, September the 18th. Yes, September good and almost done. <laughs> well anyways, I am here. I just finished recording. I just finished editing the rest of the Willie D drawing Willie D live. I actually did finish that picture on a live that I did with my cousin. I spent a lot of time on his channel just you know I have a few disabilities and he has a few as well. So we come together on his channel and we kind of it's a mixed pot but we do speak a lot about you know dealing with disabilities and stuff so on that video this is from a live we were giving advice on going through the interviewing process um having a vision impairment and i was drawing it, it quickly kind of turned into a debate because we had like differences of opinions <laughs> Woo! And that, that live went for two hours, which is crazy. So I just finished editing two hours of footage, just picking out the parts that I am drawing Willie D and piecing that together. So from two hours, this became an eight minute video. So that took a long time to do. Anyway, so I'm happy to be here with you guys. Uh, that last video where I started the Willie D picture, oh my gosh, like really, thank you so much for the support. That did way better than I thought. Like, don't look at the numbers and be like, oh girl, that ain't nothing. But no, do you know, I spent a lot of time editing and I, within like the first day or two days, it, it probably only, average video get to maybe 14 views. And it's probably my tail up there viewing it. <laughs> because after I, I create a video, I like to go and, you know, walk the block and watch it and view it like, you know, my viewers would do. So I like to get out of the creative mindset and into the viewing mindset and like, hey, is this a decent video or whatever? So you guys just came through like that. That is thank you so much. Whew. Thank you. Like, I, I really cannot thank you enough <laughs> because that that's, you know, that's what every creator wants to create a video and just have an audience to watch it, enjoy it, give you feedback and stuff like that. Like that, that is priceless. And thank you guys so much. And, you know, this is part of something I call Project Reach the World, which Project Reach the World is the project that I started in 2005, late 2005, to try to get the word out about my husband, Marcello Jackson, who was wrongfully convicted and excessively sentenced in the state of Florida. So it, it means a lot. It really means a lot to me. Um, this project means a lot to me as well. So it is me drawing different famous people, who's who, people that are within justice fields, um, musicians, entertainers, whoever you could think of that, you know, have some type of platform that could possibly, you know, further the story. So now I'm taking it to YouTube. It, though Willie D didn't start out as a YouTuber. He actually was a rapper songwriter. And I just did some research on him. I did not know he was a boxer. Like duh, like that's why his set has all those, you know, all those trophies and things like that. I did not know he was a boxer. I just read through his whole like um background and stuff. But yeah, I did know he was a rapper. But I didn't know he was a boxer as well. And he's a songwriter. I love Willie D though. He is very honest. And a lot of people, that's why a lot of people may not like him for that fact of him being honest. 
But I feel like that's what we need. Us, you know, we have become way too darn sensitive. And because every topic is too sensitive to talk about, we never talk about it. Well, how can you resolve a problem if you do not talk about it? Like, come on, sometimes feelings are going to be hurt. But we need to get through this problem and we need to get through, you know, that's why it's a lot of the stuff that is still going on in in our country because we just refuse to talk about it and you cannot talk about it. <laughs> like so crazy. But um oh that do remind me of my picture. I'll pop that in really quickly. Yes, that that was a drawing that I did called Blind to Injustice where everybody's just sitting around acting like they can't see what's happening. And then here I am. I, I don't have the blindfold on my eyes because I can clearly see what's happening. I have the blindfold around my mouth where they're kind of, you know, got my hands tied. I can't move. I can't get through this situation because I don't have the the um, ability to move or maneuver through it. And it, my mouth is closed off. So I don't have the ability to talk and tell you. So it's a literal depiction, but it actually has a meaning that you have to dig deeper and look at it and analyze it and all of that. But yeah, that's what that reminds me of. But yeah, we have to start talking about these issues. That's the only way that they're ever going to be resolved and not just buried under the dirt. Like stop burying them because what's buried does come back to the surface. We have to solve them. We have to work on them. Um, one thing that they buried is this freaking prison system and justice system. It is very unjust and unjust. And it's just been, you know, let, let, let's just brush that under the rug. People don't know. People don't care. You know, these are a group of people that did something wrong. So nobody's going to miss them and this and that. Like, no, baby. The, these are... And I don't call them inmates anymore. I call them incarcerated citizens because they are still citizens because they were sentenced did not mean that, you know, their citizenship was taken from them. They are citizens. They can come back to society if rehabilitated and actually be a viable part of society. So stop marking people off. Because they have, you know, committed a crime in the past. And I'm in no way giving a pass for committing crimes. So anytime you state your opinion, you know, people are coming for your head. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is one crime does not define the whole rest of your freaking darn life. One crime you commit or may not commit because in Marcello's case, he's wrongfully convicted. But yeah, so I had fun drawing Mr. Willie D. Hopefully I can um, attach it to some social media that he may possibly see. And I don't know. I would love for him to see my artwork. Please do not forget if you're enjoying my artwork, my commentary, whatever it is that you come here for. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and you got to hit that notification bell. And it's crazy. I see a lot of people that I do actually follow. And I am. I have hit the notification bell. And I don't see their posts. I don't see when they post new videos. So it is something that is going on. So even if you do all of that, sometimes you may think, hey, cat life not posting. Yes, I am. You know your girl ain't never quit. <laughs> It's just the algorithm is not for some reason showing you. So please check for your girl. And actually, that's the whole point of why I am making a Facebook group um, for Project Reach the World. So every time I do make these videos, I can put them in the group. And I want to um, send out invitations to people in that group that actually want to be a part and watch my videos. I know it's the algorithm. It's not you guys. I know y'all love me. <laughs> I know y'all love me. But YouTube, I, they don't know me <laughs> like that. So please, and uh, let me know if you are on Facebook and you want to be part of that group. And, um, you know, so I can get the growing and get somewhere. Your girl 40 now. Like, come on. How much longer do I got to hustle? <laughs> Anyways, it's your girl, Cadillac.